Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm doing something a little bit different today, and truth be told, this is my third time trying to film this video. It's been a little bit of a crazy day for me <laughs> um, with a four month old baby and um, trying to start something new on here. I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about what the future of this channel is gonna be towards the end of the video. Um, but for now, I am gonna go through my story of how I um, became a successful independent musician um, with now over 5 million streams on Spotify and what I'm up to now. I've been singing forever. Music has always been a huge part of my life and my family. I started singing, you know, before I could walk and my mom started teaching me how to play the piano when I was around two. I come from a very musical family. My siblings and I would all make up songs together and we would always be asking my mom to film us and make music videos and stuff like that. So that has always been a huge part of my life. I distinctly remember one of my very first performances was my kindergarten talent show. This was a super important performance for me um, because I bombed it. <laughs> I did terrible and I was so embarrassed afterwards. But it's a super special performance for me because of what happened afterwards. My parents came and talked to me after I finished. I was crying, I was so embarrassed and they told me, yep, Evie, that was terrible, <laughs> but there are two ways you can go from here. You can either be so embarrassed and so scared to ever sing again that you just never perform and you give up what you love doing, or you can just not be afraid anymore. So I said, that sounds way better. <laughs> I, I love to sing and I love to sing for people and, and share my music, so I'm not gonna be afraid. So we said a little prayer, right then that I would never be afraid to perform again and that blessing has stayed with me my whole life. That helped me later on as I, you know, entered a bunch of talent competitions. I started my own YouTube channel when I was like 10 or 11. I started releasing my own original music online. My first original song was featured on a movie soundtrack and I, I really never had stage fright. And then when I was 12 years old, I posted an original song on my YouTube channel that got picked up and featured on Ellen Tube. And from there, an America's Got Talent producer saw that video, contacted my mom, and invited me to come on the show. So the next year, I flew out to Burbank, California with all my siblings and I auditioned for America's Got Talent. I made it through the first round, the second round, into the live shows and all the way up to the finale and I finished in the top 10. That experience, I could make 10 more videos about it. <laughs> it was it was amazing. It truly was amazing and such a blessing and I am so grateful for that time in my life. It was also extremely difficult as I'm sure if any of you had followed my story while I was on the show my dad was battling cancer and he passed away just before the finale of the show so that was an extremely challenging time for myself and my family um, but I can truly say that I am very grateful for for that experience as a whole looking back on it now six years later. But immediately after the show ended, I started touring around the United States. I was pretty much in a different state every weekend doing a show. And at this point I was 13 years old, you know, making my first album on tour. It was exciting. It definitely was a unique experience <laughs> to say the least, but it was pretty, challenging for me, especially after just losing my dad and just being kind of thrown into this new season of life that I really had no idea how to handle. I remember after my AGT audition first aired, my phone was just like on constant vibrate 
like I was getting notifications of you got a new follower, you, you know, you've got a new message just constantly for hours. And, um, it was just like this overwhelming, you know, wave of a whole new life that I, I had in front of me. And, you know, that went on for a couple years. America's Got Talent was 2017. So for the next probably two and a half years, I was doing shows, releasing music. Some of my favorite performances were my Christmas shows. The year after America's Got Talent, I had a residency in Reno, Nevada and did a Christmas show there. And then the year after that, I toured with Adam Trent, the magician. Um, and we did a Christmas show in the Northwest United States. And those were my favorite. A lot of people ask me if I ever get sick of, you know, the songs that I sing in my shows. And, um, and the answer is yes, I do get sick of a lot. And so I have to rotate them out. But Christmas music, I never get sick of. It's, it's my favorite music to sing. I love my Christmas shows. But during this time, I kept up with my YouTube channel and just kept releasing new songs. Over that time, I released, you know, a couple albums, an EP, a few singles here and there. Um, and then in 2020, we all know what happened, COVID. <laughs> I know for everybody, COVID was another new wave of a new life, <laughs> but... For me especially, it was kind of like this, you know, everything that you're doing right now, you're not doing anymore. You're not doing shows anymore. You're not going to the studio anymore. You're not, you know, doing all of these things. And so I had to kind of think about like, what do I want to do? <laughs> I tried out a few like virtual concerts and I'm sorry if anyone watched any of those. They were terrible. <laughs> But I, you know, started a music group. I was teaching vocal lessons online. That was super fun, but that was a lot of work. I started selling some Evie Claire merch. I kind of got back into my YouTube more heavily. It was a really difficult time. I mean, as, as for everybody, but it was, it was hard for me because I, I truly didn't know what I, what I wanted to do anymore. If, if that life before was really even something that I wanted to come back to, you know, it was kind of nice not having to travel to a new place every week, but it was also something that I missed a lot. I had gotten pretty heavily into speaking to youth groups, talking about my journey, my experiences losing my dad and on America's Got Talent and, you know, what that kind of did to my mental health. And so I would speak about mental health to youth groups and kind of how my faith just got me through a lot of those hard things. I really missed doing that. I, I couldn't do that, um, of course, during COVID. And so something that I dove, kind of put all my attention into was school. I decided to graduate high school a year early. Once the world kind of opened back up, I went to college. Um, in Idaho at BYU and after I went to college I got engaged I got married to my long-term sweetheart Clancy and I just had a baby she's four months old now it feels so crazy that she's so big during that time I released another album um, that I'm super passionate about that again I could make 10 more videos about my album but it's called that they might have joy and it's kind of a another expression of my faith, what got me through my life, basically. But yeah, I just released that album, and then I've released a couple more singles this year, and I have another one on the way, maybe, hint, hint. Um, <laughs> now, I am in another new phase of life. My husband and I both just graduated. He got a job out here in Kansas City, and we moved. And I'm a stay-at-home mom. I'm not doing school anymore. Like, I have this, this new life ahead of me. So I've kind of been put in the position again to, you know, contemplate what do I want to do at this time? What do I enjoy? And I've decided on YouTube. Now, as for the future of this channel, previously, most of my content has been 
you know, cover videos, releasing original songs, music videos, things like that. And I will still keep releasing those kinds of things every week. But I'm also going to start a new series, um, kind of more along the lines of this, talking to you guys about my different experiences, the things I've learned along the way. I want to share some of my knowledge that I've gained, how I write music, how to play the piano, different vocal tips, different just tips being an independent artist in 2023. And I'll kind of base it off of what you want to see. <laughs> so let me know in the comments or reach out to me through my social media. So I'll be posting every Tuesday and Thursday. Tuesday will be traditional covers of songs, what I was kind of doing before, and sometimes original music. So keep an eye out for that. And then Thursdays will be other content such as this. <laughs> I'm really excited for this new phase of life. Sorry this video is kind of put out later in the day. Most of them will be in the mornings, but again, I, like I said before, it's been a little bit of a crazy day and my baby's crying in the other room right now, so I should probably go. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching this video and feel free to subscribe and press the notifications so um, we can go along this new journey together and I'll see you next time. Bye.